We are here, gathered together to witness the union in marriage of Juan Sebastian and Susima. I hope that those who are here have come, have come not only fully aware of the duties and responsibilities that the Philippine civil marriage laws behold as all to obey, but also fully committed to the adherence of these laws. I further hope that you, Johan Sebastian and Susma, have come in the most favorable of dispositions that you are both prepared to take upon yourselves the many responsibilities of being a married couple. For you, Johan Sebastian and Susima, shall not only try to be the best for each other, most of all, you shall try to be the best for your children. I strongly believe that the ties between the bride and the groom are fortified by both their promise of commitment to civil laws and their faithfulness to God because marriage is not only a legal relationship, it is as well a spiritual one. So before I will read the civil right that will make you husband and wife, I would like to tell you frankly, Johan Sebastian and Susima, that if you do not believe in a God who is love, who is just, and who is powerful, do not wonder why. There will come a time when your lives will wane in love, in justice, and in order. I am not saying that any of you be fanatically religious. If you choose to lead a moral life without necessarily being overwhelmingly religious, you will still have a good marriage, a good family life. But if you carelessly choose to recoil away from God, or if you deliberately restrain your children from approaching Him, human frailty will eat into your family life. Your pride will suffocate your spouse. Your unfaithfulness will repel your children. And your selfishness will lead to the collapse of your family life. In the eyes of the law and in the eyes of God, I am only a municipal trial court judge. But in my capacity as a judge, as a husband of my wife, father of my children, and grandfather of my three grandchildren, I enjoin you, Johan, Sebastian, and Susima, to be faithful to each other, not only for each other's sake, but for all those whom you love, regardless of the manner of your marriage, whether in church, or in civil court. God stands witness. Let us now start the civil right. Johan, Susima, please rise. Oh, no, no, not yet. Remove first the cord and then the veil. Rise, please. Susima, do you come here this morning of your own free will to bind yourself forever in love and service of your husband? Johan, Sebastian, do you come here this morning of your own free will to bind yourself forever in love and service of your wife? Yes, I do. Since you wish to marry them, you hold your hands together. Uh, Susima, this Johann Sebastian, do you take him as your lawfully wedded husband? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to Johann Sebastian as his wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept Johann Sebastian as your partner in life? Till death do you part. Yes, I do. Johan Sebastian, this Susima, do you take her as your lawfully wedded wife? Yes, I do. 
do you give yourself to Sosima as her husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept Sosima as your partner in life? Yes, do you partner? Yes, I do. Johan Sebastian The wedding rings are the symbol of longevity in a marriage The circle of the rings symbolizes a never-ending circle of love and commitment which you are making Always see the best in each other And in each day that you are together let it be full of the beauty of love you have through the symbol of this ring. You repeat? Sushima? Sushima? With this ring. With this ring? I be with you. I be with you. Wear this. Wear this. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And devotion to you. And my devotion to you. Johan Sebastian. Johan Sebastian. With this ring. With this ring. I be with you. I be with you. Wear this. Wear this as a token of my love. As a te token of my love. And devotion to you. And devotion to you. Susima. You're a Susima. I offer you. I offer you. This array. This array. This array. As a pledge. As a pledge of my support, as of my support for your health and well-being. For your health and well-being. I accept. I accept. For your pledge of love, you repeat after me. Together, together. This is your marriage vow. We hear by pledge. We hear by pledge to be one heart and one soul. To be one heart and one soul. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. Till death to us part. Till death to us part. By virtue of the authority vested, vested upon me by law, in the presence of your principal sponsors, and all those who are gathered here, this morning, I hereby unite you in lawful wedlock, proclaim you husband and wife, and declare you legally married. May you live in mutual love and harmony with one another. Johan Sebastian, kiss your wife. Laten we een stukje over.
Juan Sebastian and Susima. Now that you are legally married, be fully aware that you are bound to each other. Not only by the law, but by the God who fashioned that law through the human being. You believe in that law. Do not make a mockery out of it. You bind yourselves to it as one of the means of binding yourselves to each other. Furthermore, you raise your children. Rear them such that they grow up obedient to the law and faithful to God. Teach them to pray, open their eyes, regardless of the religion to which you belong. Face the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the newly wed couple. Welcome back.